here is a pavilion laptop Hewlett Packard so the issue is the keyboard is not working hmm? see I have connected the keyboard it's connected so let me on it we will check the issue first the power button turned on <sighs> keyboard no sense at all actually keyboard has replaced recently then also actually keyboard is a new one then also keyboard is not working that is the main issue see here is the touch touch is working fine 2% battery but any keys are not working hmm. What to check? Nothing is working. See, now touch is working, but the thing is, keyboard is not working. Keyboard is connected, it's a new also. What about external keyboard? That also I'll check. External is working, but internal keyboard already replaced, then also not working. So, let us check what is the issue. Hmm. Now, I have taken out this motherboard. Okay, here is the model number 142652. This model number a schematic is very difficult to get at present don't have in this case it's too difficult to identify only the keyboard hmm? okay anyway once again see i have taken this is a dc jack and power button and keyboard i will connect and i will check once more here is the light light should glow hmm. let me check proper connection is there ok here I fixed let me check what will happen now for security reason I put my gloves ok here I am going to give the supply now here is the light glowing power button on see here on no light F10 ok I will check with the external keyboard it's on or not I am connecting external keyboard See, in external keyboard, caps lock will work, num lock also will work, means it's on position, but internal keyboard still it's not connected. Mm. Okay, I will check the motherboard once again, any damages or anything happened. The I.O. model is uh, 9028Q I.O. is 9028Q It's a little special I.O. Okay. Mm, I'll check any damages 
is there or not one by one see in lcd side there is a correction see okay uh let's say bye is also good ha see here on correction i found it's a diode side is something missing or not here i feeling corrosion total clean see here this point so corrosion is there but diode mentioned hmm, diode number is there but here diode is there or not that i don't know let me check no diode some corrosion was there here also some corrosion is there in this capacitor see usually in this case first we need to check the connection between this and this any power connection is there or not but exactly this keyboard power why it has come hmm there is a chance any connection between this io and this one or in between component if anything is damaged then also the problem will occur uh see here one pd is missing it looks like that but i don't know in previous uh, service technician has removed or not where it has connected hmm. I'll check with the multimeter. See, it's nearby this. It means here somewhere it is connected. Uh, it's connected with this connection. This is battery side. This one is ground, and this one may be the positive. As yes, positive. Maybe this is the ESD diode. I don't know. If it's intentionally removed or not. okay one suspect is here and second suspect is here total two suspect i found any other see in one more technique i can use it here see all the pin where it has gone this track the track i will check with the io from here to here it has come some pin inside this here here Okay, let me check one by one. Yes, the ground. Oh. Any component missing or not? That I'm going to check now. This is keyboard connection. The bottom side. Hmm. I don't think so. Any component are missing here. Okay, that correction gone. No, once again I'll check. Uh, keyboard. Okay, connected. I'll give the supply. The power button. Hmm. Supply is on. I'm going to turn it on. on yes keyboard hmm no luck what to do Okay once again I'll check the board 
what are the voltage we are getting here that i will check what the diode is missing there what voltage we are getting 13.02 volts hmm? diode it's a ground diode is for filtering i don't know why okay one more place one more place yes positive side it's a 3.3 volts there's no volts so beep mm. 3.3 3.3 3.3 3.3 3.3 no 3.3 3.3 no 3.3 3.3 no 3.3 no 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 3.3 no no 3.3 so voltages are there here hmm? but here 1913 volts that's actually output voltage i think so why keyboard is not working this one is missing but because of this this that issue is happening or not that i don't know but anyway that's a esd i do one thing i'll put a diode in between that similar one and i'll check once again but there is no contact that is a production diode here it's a giving beep let me check once again now i uh, did something here i resoldered this connection hmm? actually i suspected this one this diode actually this diode is the esd diode okay that also i put there is no luck even i cleaned this corrosion then also no luck now i resoldered this soldered this one this connection so let me check once again it will work or not today's the final try after this we go to home okay connected carefully i connected let me check and hmm no luck once again disconnect and reconnect once again totally connected should connecting once again Yeah. Here. Yes, it's coming. I'll try with the external keyboard. See here in external. I'll change the capacity. I mean caps key. There also it's changing. See. sometimes i'll raise this kind of problems in groups i was i was uh, getting but now practically found the connectors are the issue some dry connections will be there then this kind of issue will happen 
guys here the problem got solved due to the dry connection wait I'll show you see here lightly i resoldered here so the problem got solved hmm. thank you thank you very much